So this video is on dyskinesia. Dyskinesia, I think I could describe it as um, a side effect of our medication. And it's a side effect that mostly um, younger or early young onset Parkinson's people get. And what it is, it's like excessive movements or I think they can be classified as a tick that happens when there's too much um, medication. In most cases, it's, it's the levodopa or the cinnamon. Um, if we get too much medication, then we move around and it kind of looks like we have a tremor. Um, but I think it mostly happens in people that don't have a tremor, but I could be wrong on that, so I'll double check that. But anyway, it's something that I really hate. The dyskinesia is a really bad part of it. Um, and it's kind of bad because you already have things going on and then you have to layer the fact that you might might get these dyskinesias that make you look like you're worst or have symptoms that you kind of didn't show before. So what those are, um, it's easy to um, think about Michael J. Fox um, and most people that look at him and think that those jerky movements that he makes are um, Parkinson's that's actually probably due to dyskinesia. So the good thing is dyskinesia is not permanent, it's just reaction to our medication. So sometimes um, I get um, dyskinesia, actually I get it a lot and it kind of looks different in everybody. So for me, the way you can tell that I have it um, is that I blink a lot. Not only do I blink a lot, but I look in different directions, and it looks like I'm looking down a lot, but really, for some reason... That so yeah, I was saying that dyskinesia, it's not a permanent, um, it's not, yeah, it's not permanent, meaning that it's affected by the dose of medication that you take, so it can level itself out, um, it only comes with the uh, dose of medication, and <clears throat> most of us that are on cinnamon kind of take it every six hours, four, three, two, it kind of varies by um, how much you, you need. Um, but the only thing is that it can take longer to kind of balance out the dyskinesia. Um, I've been diagnosed for three years, but I probably had Parkinson's judging by the um, symptoms for a very long time, maybe as much as like 20 years. Um, but what I found is that it was kind of easy to, to even out the dyskinesia at first, but now it just takes longer, and it takes something little to kind of throw me into a state of dyskinesia. So one thing that I've noticed that happens, if I'm stressed out now, um, I immediately start having problems, like my Parkinson's just like abruptly like reappears really bad, um, or my dyskinesia just kind of appears. Well, another example is that, like, today I kind of really messed up with my medication, and I'm pretty good with my medication. I just take cinnamon, but I have to take it every three hours now. I started out a couple years ago and, and took it, like, three times a day. Now I take it nine times. But um, what I was trying to say is that today I forgot and took it an hour early, and just by doing that, even though I go back to my normal time, the next dose, I'm going to have dyskinesia most of today. It's going to take that long before I'm better and not doing strange movements. It can also in me look like I'm restless a lot or I'm talking fast. Like right now, I'm t talking a little bit faster than if you see me in other videos. In other videos, um, I talk a little bit slower and that's because the Parkinson's um, really affects my body as far as slowness. So anyway, if you have any questions about dyskinesia, please leave it in the comments or if you've experienced it yourself because everyone, it, it kind of manifests itself differently so if you have experienced it and it's different from mine, just um, put a comment in the box too so we can learn.